Dr. Walter Willett is a professor of epidemiology and nutrition and chairman of the Department of Nutrition at Harvard School of Public Health and professor of medicine at Harvard Medical School. Dr. Willett graduated from University of Michigan Medical School before obtaining a doctor in public health from Harvard School of Public Health. Dr. Willett has focused much of his work over the last 25 years on the development of methods using both questionnaire and biochemical approaches to study the effect of diet on the occurrence of major diseases. Dr. Willett has published over 1,100 articles, primarily on lifestyle risk factors for heart disease and cancer, and is the most cited nutritionist internationally and is among the five most cited persons in all fields of clinical science. He is a member of the National Institute of Medicine of the National Academy of Sciences. I'm Walter Willett, and I'm chair of the Department of Nutrition at Harvard School of Public Health. One of the factors that did emerge as being related to cancer risk was consumption of red meat, especially red meat, uh, processed red meat, in relation to risk of colorectal cancer and some other cancers. We did another analysis looking at colorectal cancer, and there we, uh, red meat enters the picture that's clearly related to uh, colorectal cancer, and we could estimate that about 71% of colorectal cancer would be prevented by this healthy uh, package of lifestyle variables. Interestingly, uh, for breast cancer, what we're finding is that diet during high school or adolescent years is much more uh, related to risk of breast cancer later in life than is uh, diet during midlife. Diet during midlife really doesn't seem to be related in any important way to breast cancer risk except for alcohol consumption. But when we look at diet during the adolescent period, we here, for example, see a lower risk uh, with higher fiber intake in the diet, and also we see higher risk with more red meat in the diet consumed during high school, although during midlife and later life we don't see a relationship between red meat. So I think this goes back to emphasize some of the work that's being done by the foundation here, uh, that, this, that school children are very important in terms of setting them uh, in a good position for being healthy for the rest of their life. It's not just that they're learning about good nutrition, but actually what they're eating at that point in time is very important. That's fat in midlife and, and later life, because almost all studies have more or less been looking under the lamppost at, when you look at diet and cancer, because that's midlife and later is when the cancers are occurring. But we set up Nurses Health Study 2 to look at earlier life diet and breast cancer. And, that, and we are seeing some differences. There we are seeing some elevation in risk of breast cancer with, with animal fat in the diet, but not with vegetable fat. So it's not fat in general. And when we actually look at this in more detail, it's, it, this is due to red meat consumption. So we do see that higher red meat consumption during early adult life and high school is related to higher risk of breast cancer. So it does seem like diet is making some, having some effect on breast cancer risk, but it's once you're midlife and later, then it doesn't seem to make much difference. So it, uh, paying attention to what our kids are eating and what we eat earlier in life is clearly uh, very important.